Today we're gonna make a folding knife. Boom! I recently gave one of these kits to my dad as a birthday gift and decided to get another one for myself. This is not a sponsored video and I have no affiliation with this brand, but I'll leave a link in the description for this kit if you're interested. The kit comes with instructions and materials required to make your own pocket knife. I rarely work with metal, so this was a fun project to make. The kit comes with olive wood scales, but I decided to do something more unique. A long time ago, Ben from Wabi Design sent me a bunch of scraps from projects he made out of broken skateboards, so this seemed like the perfect opportunity to use them again. This is my first time making a knife, so be prepared to see many mistakes. I don't have any metal working power tools, so I'll use simple and easily accessible tools like files and paper and a rotary tool. Before jumping on this project, I did some research online and followed the included instructions with a bit of deviation. The first thing to do was to clean the spring, the two liners and the blade tank. I made some modifications to some parts. One of them was the nail nick that seemed too shallow to me. I used a small Dremel disc on a drill press to enlarge it. My dad's knife came out super hard to open and close, so I researched that and decided to put the pieces together right at the beginning to see how mine would work. The spring is definitely too hard to move and the problem seems to be this hole placement. So I marked a new point to drill the spring that is just slightly offset. Because this is tempered steel, I wasn't able to drill it. So my plan B was to drill the liners instead. It worked just fine. After cleaning these edges, I decided to make another modification to the design and flattened the bolsters a bit. It was taking forever with these hand tools so I decided to pay a trip to the disc sander.
The instructions do not mention a glue up, but I thought it was best to epoxy the scales to the liner since they are made out of tiny wood colored pieces. I could totally imagine them snapping when hammering the rods. And honestly, I know nothing about knife making, but I suppose gluing these in place would be just enough. But the holes were already drilled at this point, so I hammered the rods anyway. I can shape the handle just enough to be flush with the liners and then install the blade. The blade was a bit stuck because I hammered the rod too hard. I released it just a hair by tapping over a razor blade between the bolster and the blade. I can finally install the second spring rod and refine the handle shape. It started to bend and one side of the hole got enlarged. I'm not sure why this would happen, but whatever, it isn't too noticeable. Okay, a lot smoother. After sanding the metal parts, some dark metal dust got into the wood fibers, so I had to isolate the bolsters and resand the wood scales. I finished it with two coats of hard wax oil. The next day I worked on the blade, I made it as smooth as I could and then created a cutting bevel. This was my first time sharpening a knife with this sharpening system. I got this special attachment for knives. I think I did a good job for a newbie. Yes, it's very sharp. <laughs> and here is the final reveal after sticking the pointy tip into my thumb. 
This folding knife has some flaws, but overall I think it looks pretty cool and works as intended. Not as smooth opening and closing as high quality knives, but I can live with that. Also the handle turned out very pretty in my opinion with this fantastic skateboard plywood pattern. I hope you enjoyed this project and hopefully inspired you to make something with your hands. A big shout out to all my Patreon members for making this video possible. If you want to support my work too, head over to patreon.com slash gethandstory or visit my online shop and get a t-shirt or some woodworking plants. Thanks everyone for watching and go get your hands dirty. Até já!